Welcome to Skill You Up podcast. Today's podcast is on significance of e-learning in post-COVID era. A learning system based on formalized teaching but with the help of electronic resources is known as e-learning. While teaching can be based in or out of the classrooms, the use of computers and the internet forms the major component of e-learning. E-learning can also be termed as a network enabled transfer of skills and knowledge and the delivery of education is made to a large number of recipients at the same or different times earlier it was not accepted wholeheartedly as it was assumed that this system lacked the human element required in learning e-learning in the modern world and how it is important let us look at that e-learning without doubt has fixed its root in the surface of education with the increasing speed of internet connections opportunities for multimedia training have arisen even social media has left a great impact on education and is evolving it constantly learning and educating can be very expensive time consuming and does not guarantee results but e-learning has the baggage of solutions to every possible problem saving time while saving money is a basic human wish and need to do the work physical presence is not required nowadays everything is available in the portable virtual world to cater this particular need skill you are a newly established edtech startup wants to help you so that you can grow and develop your skills your knowledge and abilities in your niche areas the covid-19 has resulted in schools shut down all across the world globally over 1.2 billion children are out of the classroom as a result education has changed dramatically with the distinctive rise of e-learning whereby teaching is undertaken remotely and on digital platforms research suggests that online learning has been shown to increase retention of information and take less time meaning changes coronavirus have caused might be here to stay while countries are at different points in their covid-19 infection rates Worldwide there are currently more than 1.2 billion children in 186 countries affected by school closures due to pandemic what will happen to them how will they grow with this sudden shift away from the classroom in many parts of the globe some are wondering whether the adoption of online learning will continue to persist post pandemic and how such a shift would impact the worldwide education market Even before COVID-19 there was already high growth and adoption in education technology with global edtech investment reaching US dollar 18.66 billion in 2019 and the overall market for online education projected according to Forbes can reach anywhere around 350 billion by 2025 whether it is language applications virtual tutoring video conferencing tools or online learning software there has been a significant surge in usage since covid-19 let's look at the reasons why students prefer online courses number 1 every student or a working professional of this era loves the screen and online courses revolve around the screen studies have shown that humans learn better when they see and hear Online courses media features such as video, graphics, illustrations, animations, all these things attracts youngsters and also working professionals. Number 2, it frees students to work at their own pace and give them time for other things. They can utilize their time more effectively. Number 3, it empowers one's interacting powers. Even the introverts feel free to interact. E-learning method allows them to study at home. This is the power of e-learning which is given to them by the self-paced programs or distance learning program at their own home. Number 4. Online courses cater to an unlimited number of students unlike the traditional way of learning where the students where the number per class is limited are allowed to enroll in this virtual world. Number 5. It is less expensive and time saving as compared to the traditional way of learning. It saves travel cost and time and also it is very affordable unlike traditional learning. E-learning is not just the present in learning and development industry but also has a great future. India's e-learning market is almost 220 million US dollars and rising every day. As a trainer, teacher and a coach 
we should dive into this ocean for not just monetary rewards but also because it provides great value which we can give through this particular platform skill yuva is a latest edtech startup which has begun its operations to help primarily working professionals through self-paced video courses on self-development business management social media entrepreneurship and many more topics like these apart from self-paced video courses skill yuva also provides live training coaching to working professionals come and join skill yuva to grow yourself you can log on to www.skillyuva.com i wish you all the best in your career and life and don't forget be safe be healthy god bless you